Hello everyone, this is Richard G, and we are returning to the dojos in Grassroot. So, since my last video with this place, things have changed. Not too many changes, but it's enough where I feel like it should be revisited. So, we're gonna do all three in this video, all together. And first up is the Bronze Dojo. If you are a new player, this is still the first one you have to go in, so let's go. Now, first thing you're gonna notice as compared to the old version is that the scenery has changed. The Pokemon are the same, some of the weather effects that show up are the same, but the scenery, the ground, the walls, the appearance is different. Another difference is actually the number of floors. Back um, the older version of Bronze Dojo had six floors. This version has five. So this one actually was decreased. Now it still stands the same where you can't enter with any items. The levels inside are the same. But it's just these minor changes that I felt like it, it did deserve a little kind of relooking. And I do plan on doing these kinds of videos more often, too. And right there on the wall, we have a one-room orb. That happens. But yeah, revisiting dungeons is something that can be done when they are revamped or just changed a little bit. Or if I'm missing something, which can happen. I won't lie, I make mistakes, but... So this is Bronze Dojo, and while it's hard to tell, the walls are supposed to represent a bronzish color. The main difference with the scenery changes is the fact that the walls are more to kind of represent the color of the dojo. So bronze is a bronze brownish type color. Pokemon are the same, all that good stuff. Okay, and after 5F, there isn't even a boss. It's just an end room, there's nothing here. It's just an easy way out of this place. So, no boss. Back in the older version, there was a Medicham boss after the Bronze Dojo, but now there is not. So that's Bronze Dojo. We'll, we could store then any item we need to store, and I'll just store them. Although my slash is a little low. Just a little, there we go. Healed up. Next up, after you beat the Bronze Dojo, you gain access to Silver Dojo. Again, the Silver Dojo, same Pokemon, different scenery, different number of floors. This one is meant to look more like Silver, of course. And the items are pretty much the same, too. So, there's supplies here. Since you can't bring in items, they do provide supplies. And I just got paralyzed, so hopefully we can find a Cherry Berry around here. Or a Lumberry, they can be found too, so just gonna have to get lucky with that one. Yeah, this one's type is still mainly electric. The first one was fire and water. This place has some ground types as well, but, you know, whoop de doo. <laughs> oh, it sucks being this slow. And there's our Lumberry. We'll see how long it takes to get paralyzed again. And the levels of everything here is the same, so there's no difficulty increase or decrease, really. So now all we gotta do is find the stairs. So the first, I guess, earlier version of Silver Training Dojo was 9 floors. This one is going to be 10. So again, a difference in the number of floors. But yeah, Pokemon are the same, items the same. We'll see what we can find, which we're honestly not finding much. Cherry Scarf, that is still here and that is very useful. So definitely if you find it and you're kind of prone to paralysis, pick it up, give it, ta-da. 
Yeah, I use Drought again because it's more of an appropriate level for this place. Still a little high on the level end, but still usable and not too overpowered, I guess. Because if you remember from the last video that... Well, the dojos, they do have different difficulties separately. I mean, each one you beat, the next one is a little harder. But still fairly easy. And, of course, that went sticky, and I'm in trouble. Yeah, still a little difficult, didn't it? Of course, both cherries got uh, sticky. So lovely. Silver Dojo still a pain. I still remember last time. Gosh darn. Yep, running. <laughs> Not letting the same thing happen. Last time I remember both Trap Pinch and Dragonair went down. I'm not reliving that. And of course, getting hungry. So Dredigan's not doing too well. But paralysis, what can you do? Cherry Berry, that's what. A little bit of a temp fix. They're barely giving me the supplies I need, actually. And yes, honey is still here. It's more common in the gold dojo, but it can also be found in silver. Just not as common, at least from my experience. Simple orbs and all that stuff. Honey went sticky. Wow, th these sticky traps are not fun to deal with. Oh, look at that, an actual shard. One of the very rare instances when you can find a shard before 20 up in a dungeon. Yeah, you gotta love Frisk, am I right? So basically, this is also showing you mainly the differences. And of course, when an item sticky, you can't get it off, no matter how hard you try. You need a clad sword for that. But after 10F, again, no boss. I mean, it was Lucario, but now there's nothing. Not even an item, no box, nothing. So I guess that's it. So that's silver. After you beat silver, it's on to gold. And gold is obviously the hardest of all of them. First up, we store our items. And away we go. So to gold, this is the last dojo. And this one also received a change. Right away, boom, different scenery change. It is meant to resemble a gold color. But the Pokemon are the same. This place is more fitting for fighting types inside. And this one is longer as well. Originally, this dungeon was 13 floors. It has now been increased to 15. So, another change. This one is the same difficulty as the previous Gold Dojo, so you know this is going to be bad. We'll see if Drudigan lives this. It should be able to if things get played right. And there's more apples here, just because of the length. There's more honeys, probably because of the difficulty, but... If you don't want to buy honeys, this is one way to do it. Bring a Teddy Ursa, or just something with Honey Gather. I guess Combi works too, it's just Teddy Ursa is the most widely used. The reason why I suggest Teddy Ursa though is because it's other abilities pick up, and since honey is on these floors, it can pick up another honey. So that's an easy way to honey hunt to this place. Now, with 15 floors, you get some extra floors to do it. You don't bring any items in here. It's actually a pretty easy way to hunt. Or if you want the kind of lazy method, 
just buy them for 1,500 poke and Tanrin, because that's the thing. Just gotta kill these fighting types. That's actually some decent training. But yeah, the difficulty does get hard too. What we're seeing now is the easiest part of Gold Dojo. It gets harder, as you may remember from the last time I did this place. At least Strutigan's still alive. I remember Trap Pinch struggling. Of course, Trap Pinch was Trap Pinch. And now it's a level 87 Flygon. Which is getting to level 100 soon, so you won't be seeing it used in videos much anymore. I'll have something else to use. What that is, well, who knows, it's just going to depend on what dungeon I do. Because there's actually one more dungeon um, soon that I want to also revisit. But, you'll know when you see it uploaded, I'm not going to say what it is now. Because I still have research to do. Oh, Rainy Orb, okay. Not like we need rain here, though. Water types can benefit, but not me. <laughs> and we are seeing our first difficulty curve at 6F. We saw a Machoke there, and now it just gets harder. Higher levels, but also more EXP. And quicker stairs, apparently. Yeah, I ain't complaining, though. So yeah, there's not too many changes to the dojos, but it's enough where I thought it should be revisited. Because we can obviously see that my older videos of the dojos are a bit outdated. Now, I'm not going to delete them. They're still going to be there. Just kind of a time capsule of the past. So you can do a comparison of the changes. Let's see what we can find. Obviously not much right now, though. There we go. Stairs. Alright. This is actually getting pretty lucky that I'm finding the stairs. But then again, there's not too much to show either, so it kind of speeds things along. Oh, gosh. And there's the death. So yeah, Dredigan couldn't handle it. I tried. But it's not quite enough. Dredigan does need an updated moveset, I'm not gonna lie there. Fun fact, that's what I used in the non-evolution tournament when I had to sub in. And I'm thinking that's going to be getting to level 100 soon. That may be the next one I train after Flygon. That's what I'm thinking so far. But that is always subject to change as well. It's really going to depend on which dungeons I want to do. Well, speeding through quickly. We really didn't see any honeys. That is weird. Previous runs I've done, I've found more honeys than that. But, you know, it's all based on luck. So sometimes you find them, sometimes you don't. Regardless, honeys are here. Probably, to me, they're the easiest to find in Gold Dojo. Usually. But when you can buy them, that's something to do. Otherwise, if you just want to hunt them, not pay for them, this is one way to do it. Well, that's 15F. And again, no boss. None of the dojos have a boss anymore. Not that it matters, though, because the old bosses, they didn't even drop anything. So now, really doesn't matter. So, 
There you go. That's all three dojos. Their changes, so they all had changes in appearance, number of floors. That's about it. Pokemon and items stayed the same. And also bosses were removed. So those are the main kind of differences and all that compared to what it used to be. You still have to be you still have to be bronze to get the silver and then beat silver to get the gold. And then once you beat gold, you can use the Krogong swap shop. So that factor is still the same, but the inside of dungeons have changed a little bit for these three. So I thought it was probably a good idea to kind of revisit them a little bit. So that is the new dojos, bronze, silver, and gold. So what's next? Who knows? You'll see it next time. So this is Richard G, and may the dragons be with you.